Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? I just want to say I appreciate you guys, man. Um, I'm going through some shit right now in my everyday life. You feel me? Um, nothing I can't handle, though. You know, it's just a bit of a burden what I'm about to put everybody through. But I feel like I'm doing it for the best. So I'm going to stick to my guns. And I'm just going to be true to myself. Because if you ain't going to be true to yourself, then you lost. As simple as that. But I just want to start this video by saying, man, I want to say thank you to two certain cats. Like these two dudes, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm only calling these guys out because they're actual YouTubers. I have a lot of other people that show me amazing support. And I promise in another video, I definitely will shout you guys out. But for this video, man, I just want to show love to a YouTuber. His name is Joe Yell Quasar. I could be butchering that name. He used to go by Joe Games. I don't know why he decided to switch it up, but it's all good. So, Joe Yell Quasar, man, I just want to show love to you, man. This dude, he has been with me for a year, maybe longer. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it has to. Be, I know it has to be at least a year. He's been with me. Do shows loves on all my videos. Whether it be posts, whether it be streams, the dude is always there. And I met him through a sub for sub. And I already talked about not doing sub for subs, but this was during the time where I thought that's how you got subs. You feel me? And I ended up running into this cat, and the dude has been showing me mad love ever since. He's one of those people who, when they say something, they do it. As simple as that. They don't give you a sub and then just go away they stay rocking with your channel okay now the reason why i'm calling him out man is because he ain't even posting content on his channel right now his channel's been it's been blank for not blank but it's been on pause for maybe a month or so but the dude still comes by on my videos that's love right there the dude still comes by on my videos so he's letting me know it ain't about you know, tit for tat. It ain't about you coming to my channel and then me coming to your channel. He don't ever ask me to come see his videos, which I greatly respect. Like the dude, he just shows real support. So I want to say, shout out to uh, Joe Yell Quasar, man. He, man. The dude, respect for real. And I just want everyone that is up to me, who actually is sub to me, if you know what I mean, who rock with me, to show this dude some love, man. Give, give, give him your sub. And show him love because I guarantee it he will show it back to you. And that's just the truth. So shout out to Joe Yo Quasar, man. For real, for real. Yo, so the next person I want to send love to, man, Coleon Sanchez. Man, this dude is a lot like Joe Yo Quasar. He shows mad love. You know, he's an active YouTuber. You know, he, he posts videos almost every single day. And it just, it's, it's, it's kind of saddening because, like, he, he doesn't get the views I feel like he truly deserves. And it's kind of like that for a lot of YouTubers that you deem, like, A+. plus. You know, he makes content. He's active. You know, I just, I just don't understand. But he's a really good dude. I remember, like, he would come into my streams when I had nobody and he would stay rocking in my streams with me real conversations for hours and then he would dip like that's just support that's just what he does you know and um i gotta say man i, I truly appreciate you coleon sanchez you know i really do so yo again if if my subs if y'all truly truly up with me I need y'all to go rock with Coleon Sanchez too, man. Show him some love because he will show it right back to you. And, you know, I'm not the best at entertain, entertaining viewers, you feel me? When I game, like, I'm entranced in the game. If I bought a game, it's because I want to play it to the end. So sometimes I won't look at chats, you know. Sometimes somebody could be messaging me and whatnot, and I might just ignore it completely because I'm a gamer. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a real gamer some people do youtube because of the money and stuff like that and i feel like when you do something for the money you it kind of takes away the pleasure of something and the only reason why i'm saying that is because i felt it youtube has kind of turned gaming into work you know 
and I don't ever want to feel that way and I thank God every day that I have a real career out there in the real world so like I said man I'm not the best at entertaining people I said what's on my mind yada 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 and uh Coleon man he don't care he will just rock with you he'll just show you support he'll conversate with you if you you know if you if you're trying to conversate if you're not conversating if you ain't saying nothing he still will stay in your streams and and watch until he wants to dip he don't come in for a second be like i gave you a like and then dip he ain't that type of person he will come in say what's up to you if if you're not talking he won't dip he'll just chill for you he will chill with you for a minute that's just who he is man i can truly respect that man so shout out to coleon man again show him some love man anyways man without further ado hope you guys really uh enjoy my video make sure you guys hit that thumbs up for me and until next time stay true You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I've been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that will help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Penix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick.
It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. <clears throat> come on, come... You don't look like an actor! Unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Get out of here, and count yourself lucky. Thank you, thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So, he's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But opinions. Told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me Thespis, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Take this and get out of my sight. Do you think we're farmers that can be bought for beans? Take your money and stick it up your ass. We'll be seeing you, Mistios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. I is not feeling too good. My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them. I be. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So say Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse.
going to enjoy this. I'll mess that pretty face right up. No need for jealousy. Just because your mother was a goat. Like mother, like kid. You need to die! So you no! are king here! Get off! Oh. Muse. <laughs> hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So... What are you into? No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword, as proof! <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. <laughs>
Give my regards to Hades. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. <laughs> 